Welcome back to RCF Tutorials. I'm Lucio Boyardi Serri and in this video we are going to overview the brand new Art9 AX series. Following the incredibly popular Art9 series design, the Art9 AX series introduced a new 6-channel digital mixer with Bluetooth audio streaming and control. Art9 AX series comes with three models Art 10, 12 and 15 AX respectively with 10, 12 and 15 inch woofer with 1 and 75 inch compression drivers. Generally speaking, look and designs are exactly the same of the Art 9A series from all point of view. Amplifier, transducers, as well as cabinet constructions and advanced DSP processing as third phase and bass motion control. For this reason, the new Art 9 AX matches sonically the Art 9A series, so we can use an Art AX and an Art A's as a stereo system, using just an XLR cable. At the back of the speaker, we see the I.O. section with the new mixer interface, composed of a bright 2 and 4 inch focal touch screen with a dedicated editing help. This is a 6 channel mixer. Channel 1 and 2 with two mono XLR jack combo inputs with microphone preamp and individual phantom power. Channel 3 and 4 along to the 1 octave inch jack aux in at the top and the channel 5 and 6 for stereo Bluetooth streaming. Finally, we have the XLR mix out to connect any other speakers just as a parallel input link, deactivating the mixer if this button is pressed or to manage and send audio content according with the mixer status if released. The Art AX can be used in different configuration thanks to the internal mixer, mono, stereo and both this configuration with the internal crossover enabled. In all these cases, the Bluetooth streaming is available for cable-free sound, even in stereo mode. In fact, in this case, your Bluetooth device will stream audio to the primary Art AX, the left channel, which will stream audio to the secondary Art AX as stereo channel. Cable-free sound between two Art AX is possible just with Bluetooth audio streaming. It is not possible to stream mix out from an Art AX to another Art AX. With the crossover enabled, you can connect a subwoofer using the mix out XLR output and by selecting the proper preset, the subwoofer will be automatically crossovered and aligned in phase. This is a new, very useful function because many users don't know how to couple in the proper way tops and subs, losing a lot of energy and punch in the low frequencies. Currently, we have presets available for the subs 702, 705 and 708 AS as well as sub 905 and 8003 AS. More to come. It is also possible to customize the crossover out settings adapting the RTX to play with any other subwoofer. The RTX can be set in easy and advanced mode. In easy mode, only the levels and few system settings are adjustable for a quick and easy use. In advanced mode, instead, all the DSP parameters as EQ in the input and PEQ on the output, high pass filter and dynamic compressor will be available. To take full advantage from the power of the mixers, a reverb is available in both modes as well. Another key feature of the RTX is the possibility to apply a delay up to 130 milliseconds, resulting in about 40 meters of distance independently for the speaker itself and for the mix out. These features allow to use the RTX as delay, front fill, or more in general as sound reinforcement system perfectly aligned with the main system without using any external processor. It is also possible to use the channel 1 mic input as public address automatically ducking down the level on specific channels whenever you want to make an announcement. For a quick setup for all these functions, a step-by-step -step workflow is available on the touch screen to go easily through the DSP settings according with our needs. Once set, the mixer status can be saved in 8 internal user presets. 
The RCF Light Remote app is available for Android and iOS devices to remote control all the internal mixer parameters. Just launch the app, go to device and scan. The name of the speaker will appear in the list. Finalize the app connection just touching the icon. To stream audio, press pair in the Bluetooth setting page and then you will be able to couple your device from the system Bluetooth settings. Note then you can customize the name of the speaker if you are working with more RTX. A micro USB service port is available for firmware update. After this introductory video, a series of video pills will analyze in details every single function of the new RTX. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.